and motivators. I've missed you guys. I know I've been really inactive on YouTube. It's been so long, but I just wanted to come out with you. I just wanted to come out with a vlog for you guys and I hope you like it. I've been trying to get more active and now I've been going Mommy, out doing? with my friends. So, Mommy, hope you enjoy. We're out here at the park. Hey mama. Hey baby girl. And yeah, I might go for a run around this little park a little bit. Um, just gonna do a small little vlog for you guys because I know I've been really inactive. And just to let you guys know what we're doing and getting active now that it's nicer outside. I've been trying to work out every day, do a little home workout, and get back into it because I've been eating good, just not as I want to. Like, I've been eating sugary stuff here and there, and the thing is, I don't really care for sugary stuff, but yeah. So, just getting back into being strict, strict. I'm wasting right now. I had lost my weight center for like two weeks and I finally found it. So breakfast this morning was a smoothie, just fruits. I haven't bought kale. Uh, it was pineapple, strawberry, bananas, and uh, bananas and hemp seeds and then I ate a sandwich before we came and it was like just one bread, bologna, and cheese. And I brought that. Come on, Papa, run! Where are you? Where? Make a line! Yeah, really? Your mom to take off your shoes. Make a line. You weirdo. So we just got back from the park. It was fun. I had a friend go with me and she had her kids go. And we are playing basketball, so now I'm like sweating. I don't know. Is it sweating? Yes, the sweat's piercing out. That's awesome. But yeah, so I don't know. We might go to the dog park later with Blue and my husband. And we'll see how it goes. Such a nice day, I'm like sweaty. Ooh. Ooh. You guys. So, it's like right now, it's like already like four something. But, like, I just want to tell you guys that I'm getting, making myself a salad for lunch, and I'm using this Italian dressing from Olive Garden. Honestly, I only got it because it's at Olive Garden. I love the salad there. And I am making mushrooms to put in my salad and I'm going to also put um, I'm also going to 
put chicken in my salad. And this morning I ate a ramen noodle. You know, shame on me, shame on me. But um, I ate a smoothie also after my ramen noodle, like um, an hour or two after. So I could like yeah, try to eat it on an empty stomach. I'm making this and I had a friend come over from church and then we did her hair. It was fun. She wanted it a light brown. And yeah, that's my day for now. And ahorita in a little bit we're gonna take Nikolai to sign up for preschool. So we'll tell you how that here at the park. I have my smoothie, a Gatorade, and my water bottle and some fruit for the kids when they get hungry and I got my waist trap. I'm about to go run right now and I'm gonna leave my phone here so I don't So we went for a little run now we're eating snacks. Well I already put them away but Nikolai's over here yelling at my friend's daughter. And the Vicalina's trying to get on the slide. I've been drinking a smoothie. Ooh, look at my hair though. There you go. All better. <laughs> and yeah, I was drinking my smoothie. That's on the And then my friend, I just gave her, well, she's gonna buy a waist center for me because I had bought one, I had bought two when I bought this one of the same size, so I need to find somebody who had the same medidas. Anja. And then, uh, yeah, I stand all over you, monkey. Ooh, today is a good day. I worked out a little bit right here. side crunches and all that jazz and booty workouts and now probably just go home and feed the kids because we had smoothies and snacks but you know how it is you want to have you want to sit down and actually have a real meal so we'll see and my hair is all over the place you guys i'm so excited to start doing these meetings clubs get the others i don't know what you want to call it but stay tuned we're just i'm just gonna figure them out more and see what we want to do and for the locals to be involved and motivated and we can all do things together with our kids. Oh yes, I know my clothes. I was doing clothes right here and while my mom and my sister were here. I ended up having plans, but I'll try to get it up tomorrow and edit it since I don't have the kids. I'll be, uh, I'll have extra time to do it because like, I get anxious like when I have the kids around and I put things off. I know I could do it, but I just have to get over it, right? <laughs> okay, and I'll try to vlog a little bit when I'm with my grandma and my mommy. And yeah, tell me how, if you like how I look. <laughs> I didn't put any foundation on, I just put powders on. I mean, right now I look okay because I can't even see the screen, but the <laughs> pop up. So we just got done eating Panera, have the drinks, and I'm walking to a Whole Foods that's really close to Panera. We're gonna go get some hemp seeds and some stuff for my mom and my grandma and Bayas with me too. And yeah, 
Let's see what we find. And look, I got a water with lemons in it. Cause it's so yummy and it's like an infused water, but even though it doesn't infuse for that long. I got my nails did. I love how they look. They look more natural. So my husband. called Lucky's and my mom got some kale, some bananas and stuff. Oh, here's the kale. Asparagus. We got some good stuff and we're going to go home. I got some more hemp seeds. Um, see these hemp seeds. Um, I'm going to make a video on it soon. Requested and some you know, some avocado oil, some good stuff, some coconut milk, hemp milk, by the way. They have hemp milk here, and so I'm very excited to try that out and see how everything is. I'm so happy to have hemp milk and try it so I can, like, make my own and actually know how it's supposed to taste. And, yeah. I think they're going to close here soon. Yeah. Out here in the Columbia. I am sweating, you guys. I worked out. And I'm here with a friend, Cristina and her daughter. And we worked out this morning. I drank a smoothie, like one and a half. Oh, I didn't bring it. I was going to put the other, I was going to bring another 36 ounce to the park. But I didn't bring it. I brought sandwiches for the kids. I ate like half of the sandwich really before we got here. We ran and we did some workouts that we wrote down and we did them like right after another so I'm like sweating and I, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna put up the vlog this weekend but I didn't, so yeah. <laughs> At another park and we went to go, oh my goodness, I don't even realize how bad I look. We went to my friend's house to go eat a chicken and <laughs> but now we out here again getting active staying active we've been like outside all day which i love and then we're just gonna go back home and i think i'm moving too much for you guys right because i feel like i'm so bored i need to look at something else so you guys don't have to look at mm -hmm. i thought i was taking a picture oh so i just posted um something on my page about um, alkaline foods and how they're better for you I mean if I would have known all this before when I was like doing Herbalife and stuff I wouldn't have done that because like alkaline basically is things not acidic and the things that help your body like in a way electric and I started learning that from Dr. Sebi sorry you guys have my mom's shirt on she's probably gonna be like Chavis what are you doing anyways um, yeah, so I started learning that from um, Dr. Sebi, and he's a vegan herbalist, and um, yeah, just a lot of things like make sense and about how society, like the media, is portraying things to be healthy, and it really isn't. If you look at like if you look at the ingredients and actually look it up, there's things that you don't even know that are in there. They call it something else, like natural foods or yellow six yellow one or you know stuff like that like red and it's like what is that you don't look outside in the earth and be like oh that's green one you know what i'm saying that's a tree it's like um it's good to know what things are naturally good for your body because we're natural like look way down the line of like our heritage and everything and what things were available then like our bodies are still like that that's why there's a lot of sicknesses these days and that's why there's so much cancer and that's why everybody's getting sick like just like a regular cough or flu or stuff like that there's a lot of things that you can do to prevent that and have a healthy long lasting life yes i understand it could be expensive to do certain things but in the long run it's not expensive like stress wise and like hospital bills wise you know what i'm saying like it's better to spend uh, maybe a, a few couple more cents now a few couple more it's better to spend more 
like a little bit more now while you buy your food organic or more natural like raw than having to pay a bunch of like money later on in the future because you're sick from eating things that from now and well yeah that's just a little rant i wanted to get out to everybody i tell this like to everybody that i meet or that i do everybody's hair and i know hair is not all natural but you know it's something that you need to in order to make healthy life choices you need to make them little by little because that's when you'll make the biggest change. If you try to do everything right now at a stop, you're gonna most likely come back to from missing it or something. But if you do it little by little over time, you're gonna stick with those lifestyle changes and those good habits, change the bad habits to good habits. And yeah, now I'm just rambling, but I just wanted to tell you guys that and just go on my Facebook page group and I try to do a lot of research and give a lot of things. Please ask me questions because I'm, I'm not, I don't know it all and I like to learn new things so if you guys ever are questioning something please let me know and I'll go read it and I'll go find out the best as I can because <clears throat> you know I don't know everything and I would like to know certain things for my family to keep us healthy and soon Bluebird will start getting natural food so he doesn't have all those preservatives and all those unnatural stuff in there. Hey, Thank you bye.